princess. Oh, if they fucking hurt her! Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. You never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite Goku. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, she couldn't get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. Wow. Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. The closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye! Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye! I love you! Shit! Shit! Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, uh, you dumb prick? Huh? Get up! Get yeah, up so uh, I can kill you myself! Get up! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh, come on. Get up. Talk about a nervous uh, breakdown. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Huh? Let's, come on. Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh shit, Louise. Well, that was a good time for a gun to jam. Tony doesn't even look that old. He looks like he's in his I don't the know. The mid to late 30s. Chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. That's great. I'm sure some people are thinking, "Man, mid 30s is old." <laughs> yeah, it's old. I mean, you know, a couple more minutes and you're dead, right? Is where we might start doing that. It's a big city, don't. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Uh, Therefore, the safety was I'll on it. Fuck. Time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay, I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hood from Dukes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Our old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck? Did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido here, Joe Cabron. Shit! I just got forward a photo of Gracie from the kidnapper. Where the it's fuck am I supposed to go? Good. Hey, who knows? Bound and gag? Might be the look for oh Guido's next scene. Anyways, <laughs> look at the bright side. At least she's alive. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Excuse am I really supposed to just go over here? Jeez. That was a pain in the ass. Oh, hey, there's the, the helicopter. Chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. They have a security guard for the chopper? Okay. Well, I, whoops. Oh, that got knocked down. That got opened up. Thought I was going to hop hop that bad boy, but nope. He said walk straight in the gate. The place we're checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. Is he in the... Okay, he is. He is with me. This thing's not going to be as good as the golden mini chopper of doom. So... This isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh wait, we've tried that. This 
it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh, yeah, I've already been pimped off once, Steve, and I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Hey, where'd you get that car from, damn it? That's a sweet ass car. Apparently, we just have to follow him, which shouldn't be too terribly hard. I think that's but that's their car, Lou. The red one. Let's follow it. Never mind. They don't really have a dot on it, so can't really follow it as easily. Going, you idiot. That's why we're following. Him. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of Gooch. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the East Borough Bridge. So he can get himself up to Bohem. Fuck! Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I can go to sleep at a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a riding one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be a rich. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God. Exactly ah. oh, okay. Stop All right. Suspiciously, Lou. Oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, wise. What are we in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fan. Oh yeah. Play the minority card. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too. So fuck you. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of monk beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? Could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Leave the torture to professionals, people in government. Look, he's going through the booth tunnel. I ain't going in there, T. You think I want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this chopper up. Okay, boss. I don't remember where the fuck that's at. I'm like over here somewhere. Um. Yeah, I, I have no idea where that even fucking pops out at. Like. Uh, okay. Where is he gone? Where the fuck has he gone? I see him. He's crossed over to Alderney. He's coming out of the booth right now. You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit. Cliche. Yeah, I lost them. Of course I did. I had no idea. Where the fuck he was at? I should probably use the uh, the B function a little bit better. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just uh, see what happens when I fail that. That guy could be anywhere now. Poor little Gracie. So what if we lost them, man? They're gonna put in a ransom demand, and that's a lot will pay up. I'll see you soon, okay? Bum bum bum. We lost. All right. Well, I'm sure he'll just walk back to his car and carry on with his life, but uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to redo that mission, which I guess we'll see where the checkpoint throws me out at. Yep, there you go. Alright, I'll try this one more time, and if I fuck it up again, then I will just uh, play on my own time until I 
do it correctly. He's going into the tunnel. Where fuck? It's only got two exits, T. He should come right out over by where we picked up the chopper. Or he could hijack some other car and we'll be sitting here waiting for him with our dicks in our hands. Hey, my dick's in my pants, not my hand, T. And it's staying there. Let's just wait to see if he comes out. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, hang out with, uh, and try and follow where the, the little beat. oh, there's the chopper. Okay, that's where I picked up the chopper. Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the exit right there. At least the helicopter's not beeping anymore. There, he's coming out of the tunnel after all. You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should've got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. A giant, penis, veiny-looking sculpture. Ugh. <sighs> If I ever see one of those, then that'll be Where the day. Where's he going? What's he doing in the parking lot? What's he been doing driving anywhere? We give him a moment and call it in if it feels weird. Okay, okay. Why does everything feel weird to me? Because you owe money to half the city, and the other half wants you dead. Paranoia is advising our situation. A lot of handicapped spots up here. Look, he's there. Just lead us back to Gracie, you fucker. Yeah, what is he doing? Like, this is the most random shit ever. Going through tunnels, driving around. Where'd he get that car at? I don't remember ha him having a car like that. Might have bought it after the bank robbery. Oh, shit. He's slowing down right there. Well, looks like I did it. Look, he's stopping. That must be where they're keeping Gracie. It's somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know Alden any well, bro. But I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's get this bird on the ground, Lou. Take the chopper back to the helipad. I was about to land right there. Just land on top of him and start fucking him up. At least I only screwed it up the one time. I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Yeah, sure would. That's usually pretty integral to, you know, walking, moving, living, stuff like that. That didn't fucking, like... How is it that I was able to land the other helicopter all janky and stupid? But this one... This one's gotta be landed professionally. Yeah, that makes sense.